Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about the upcoming secondaries. This is played on the PTS, uh, aka the public test server, uh, and I'm experimenting with some new secondary builds, of course, on the Grosse Kurforst, because, well, if you don't have secondaries on the Grosse Kurforst, well, it doesn't really have much else going for it. Besides the Hydro, there's generally not much reason to play the ship or the, or the Montana, so obviously, I had high hopes that this would greatly, well, not greatly, but at least help uh, the core force. Also, I don't have access to the Pomern on the test server, which is another ship I would have loved to test because Pomern very much lives and dies based on having working secondaries or not. It was, in fact, one of my favorite ships back when secondaries were still viable. Still, um, on PTS, they've changed it around a bit. Um, we, we get the ramping up secondaries. For those who aren't aware, they have a new mechanic where your secondaries are basically complete junk at the start. Then they quickly build up for 10 seconds to what we have right now, roughly. Um, and then they continue building for another 35 seconds uh, until you reach what kind of what basically better values than what we used to have barely better but still a bit better than what we used to have now obviously people are very happy about this but ultimately uh, i can't help but wonder why couldn't they just revert their entire dumb dumb rework and well the reason for this is obviously quite obvious well you can see this is as soon as we spot someone you can see how poor the secondary accuracy is uh, it's basically landing all over the place. The, the accuracy does tighten quite qu quite quickly. In the first 10 seconds you get a bit big boost and then it keeps tightening more and more and uh, building up to pre-Captain Rework values. Now you might wonder why on earth would they not just give us the old ones? Well, the reason for this is quite obvious. It's the same reason as when they suddenly decided that, you know, those rocket planes that kept absolutely dumpstering DDs left, right and center? Well, they, after two years of watching them dumpster DDs, they suddenly decided, you know what, we need to rework the rocket planes ASAP so that there's a delay before they can strike. Now, this is not suddenly Wargaming feeling pity for the destroyer players. No, this is, of course, related to submarines. They want to, they want to squeeze submarines into the game in any way possible. And these very, very accurate secondaries and these rocket planes being able to strike instantly, both of these things undoubtedly absolutely dumpstered submarines before they could die. So I'm almost confident that these two changes um, coincide with submarines for the simple reason that, well, submarines were suffering hard from this and they want to squeeze them into the game. So that's the reason why they didn't just give us the old secondaries, but now we have this ramping up mechanic. And, well... It, it, it's not really that good. It, it has its side when it, when you build up when you when you get to farm the same target. Obviously, it's nice, but there are still multiple issues with secondary builds that this doesn't really help. First of all, if a DD rushes me from behind an island right now, he's gonna be able to close the distance and absolutely smash me. Um, I, I know he's on the other side of the map, but as an example, he's going to be able to absolutely smash me before my secondaries can actually do anything about him. So this already greatly limits your ability to push in because, well, DDs have a much easier time YOLOing your secondary battleship because uh, your secondaries simply will not do much in the first 10 seconds. There's also other issues like you lose a bit of better dispersion when you switch targets, which is really frustrating because, well, you're shooting someone, you lose vision, you switch to a battleship, then someone radars the guy you were shooting earlier, then you switch back. These two switches have eaten a ton of your secondary accuracy through no fault of your own. In fact, you should be rewarded for quickly switching to a better, more opportune tar or better, more valuable target. You should be rewarded for it, but instead you're being actively punished for switching secondary targets, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me because it's it's a mechanical skill a mechanical ability like in the middle of a battle you're able to keep track of different targets and switch to different targets this shouldn't punish you but in with this mechanic that the wargaming has it actually punishes you to actively switch targets like in this case i'm fighting the conquer but i'm well aware of the nevsky on my left so if i get firing angles on this uh, nevsky and i switch my priority target to the nevsky well i'll get punished for it by by the game the game punishes me and i lose this stack of accuracy that i would normally have and this just seems f fundamentally stupid to me like in this case, I'm about to get vision, 
We're still farming the Conquer. Actually, I think I want to just finish this Conquer. Um, he's sticking within range, but this is another issue really here. I built up full stacks of secondaries. I really, really don't want this Conquer to be able to outrun it. I need to keep him within it so I don't lose all of these stacks. So, he dies and I switch target to the Nevsky. And I just lost some accuracy on the secondaries again. Because, well, I switched target. And that's something Wargaming apparently doesn't like you to do. But there are other issues involved, really, that I think secondaries are just too punishing. The issue is, of course, well, in order to use the secondaries, you have to push in. Which means, well, the carrier is going to keep striking you and striking you and striking you and striking you. And there's simply not enough AA to survive this. There's not enough AA to keep yourself alive. The guy who pushes in is the juiciest target to farm. Uh, every ship wants to farm the guy pushing in. Because, well... They're, they're, they're isolated, they're generally alone, because most of the other ships, most of the other mechanics that Wargaming are introducing right now are a lot of sniping type of battleships. We got the Borodino, we got we got their Constellations, we got their Champagnes, their Slavas, all of these like just long-range spammy ships, even destroyers like Elbing. None of these ships really want to push in, they all want to sit in the back, but you're forced to be, be to push in and try to utilize the secondaries within this basically 12km range in order to get any value out of them. So this means your priority target number one, two, all this focus and all this spam and so forth. Oh, this already could maybe be somewhat acceptable. Uh, that, yeah, okay, okay, of course, you're the guy pushing in, of course, you're gonna get focused, you're gonna get punished, but there's another aspect of secondaries that is so frustrating uh, to deal with, and that's the fact that when you push in, obviously, you're gonna get shot at. We, this, this is established. The problem is, however, when you get shot at, they also break your secondaries, and your secondaries break so very, very easily, and this is running the 100% extra health on the secondaries mod, uh, that's the only thing you can spec to build extra secondary health pool. That's literally the only captain perk available. And I have built that, but even with that thing available, even with... Well, uh, you can see I still have heals remaining. I could still be in this battle for a long time, of course, if it wasn't for a carrier that just striking me for free, because, well, there's not a whole lot of counterplay. Uh, but the problem is, if you look at my secondaries now on the left side, you see that? I have two secondaries left on the left side. Two. Two secondaries on my entire left side. You see how pitiful this is? This entire secondary battleship, this entire build, this entire concept has collapsed. All my captain points are wasted, all my modules are wasted, because, well, I tried to play the ship the way it's meant to be played, pushing in, brawling and using my secondaries, but... <laughs> I got punished for it by having my armament permanently destroyed. And there is absolutely no way for me, me to recover it. So, yeah. Um, if my secondaries were actually doing something, I could probably have killed this carrier. Instead, he takes me down while my secondaries, what, get six hits in on him? Because, well, they were all broken. I mean, we do, do end up winning that game, and I do do 285,000 damage. It's, it's PTS numbers, though. Always keep this in mind. When people talk about, oh my god, I had these insane games, it's always PTS numbers. They, they, they don't really matter as much. Uh, my, my fundamental problem here really is that secondaries are still so punishing in this game. You, you put your, there's so many things already punishing you when you're trying to use them and keep in mind that they want to add submarines that are going to make it even more punishing and I, I, and the thing is they even protected the submarines from the secondary battleship which, which I find extra hilarious because there's really not a whole other reason for them to change the secondaries the way they have. There's no reason for them to not to revert to their old system which they had in the, games for, in the game for multiple years and it worked perfectly fine uh, except for the fact that they want to protect submarines and I find it somewhat hilarious that they are protecting submarines from these big bulky clumsy battleships. If a submarine gets caught in the secondaries he, he should should get shredded. This shouldn't be a protected class, but you know how Wargaming thinks, you know how they do. Just like CVs are a protected class, uh, so are submarines going to become. So uh, I'm almost confident that this change, just like the change to the rocket planes, the change to the secondaries being this ramping up mechanic is intended to protect this new upcoming ship that they absolutely want to squeeze into the game.
Team score wise, we did rack up 3.3k base, which is of course good. Um, there were some bots in the game. Most of their players were, not, but I basically ended up fa facing only uh, their players though. The Conqueror, the Nevsky, the Audacious, and the Minotaur were all players. The only one that weren't were the two early cruisers that kind of pushed in. But when we get to detailed report, that's when, well, secondary wise, the vast majority of my damage still came from my guns. Vast majority. 215,000 out of 285,000 damage came from my main guns. So, uh, we could have gotten some more if they, they hadn't been breaking, but ultimately it's so hard to justify building for the secondaries and using them when not only do they put you in these awkward positions, if because you Generally, when you build secondaries, you want to put yourself in a position where you can use them. So you're forced to play very aggressive. But then when you're, played, when you're playing aggressive to try to use them, everything in the game punishes you. Um, and you don't really have any way of mitigating that. In fact, looking at damage received, I mean, this is called World of Warships, but 51,000 artillery damage of the 162,000 damage that I took. 163,000 damage even. Um, it's not even a third. The artillery damage I took is not even a third of the damage that I took. The vast majority, the torps, the bombs, the fires, carrier. The carrier basically did all of it. And that's generally what happens to you if you try to push in. Um, the carrier finds you a juicy target and he starts smashing you. And it just makes it very, very punishing. And the other side is, of course, well, if you look at my damage modules, you'll see that I lost six secondaries, and basically all of them were lost on the left side. And once again, this is me being punished for trying to play the ship to its role and trying to execute this secondary build. Um, I mean, obviously, Wargaming is never going to touch carriers. They are. They are beloved. They are... They, they think it's great design that this guy is sitting in the back just kills anyone who tries to charge in. They think it's, this is a, the best design ever, but they could at least do something about the secondaries on these secondary battleships. Because uh, we're talking, we, with the new captain build, you can build secondaries cheaper. You can get um, the, the extra range, and you can get the faster reload and the manual secondaries. You can get this for only seven points. So this means, in this case, I had enough points to also spec fire prevention, and I had enough points to also spec... Uh, um, the additional heal and longer damage gun. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best build. You might want to go concealment expert instead, because actually living long enough with a secondary build to use all heals is somewhat debatable. Still, though, the issue here really is that <laughs> um, they need some way to help you keep your secondaries alive. I, the best would be preventive maintenance, the current build that gives keeps your turrets and torpedoes alive uh, for that and also helps your rudder and engine. The best would be for that build to also give you a sig significant AA and secondary survival buff. Because, well, it's not only, I mean, it's not only secondary ships that suffer. Uh, a common thing in, in these games, if when the enemy has funders and conquerors and such, is that um, all your AA gets destroyed and then the carrier gets to farm you for free because, well, you don't have any AA modules alive. Right now, there's really only one way to keep those secondaries and AA modules alive, and that's this that first upgrade that you unlock at basically tier 1 or tier 2 or something. Uh, that gives you 100% extra health to your to, to your mounts. That's the only thing you can build to keep them alive. And honestly, <laughs> that's really not a whole lot. That's really not a whole lot. And with the Wargaming constantly adding more and more of these HE spamming ships into the game and different ways of just pouring in AP or HE, these fast reloading monsters into the game, um, we're going to just see these secondaries break even more often. And that means trying to build for them kind of becomes a, an exercise in futility. So, it, are we getting better secondaries? Sure, absolutely. I mean, we did do some good damage on Conquer. We did 23,000. You could see that um, we we'd kept him as a target for long enough that we got that accuracy bonus and the secondaries were actually doing some work and they helped finish him off while I was fighting the Nevsky. So... Yes, much better than what we have right now, but still not as good as what we had earlier. And uh, secondary builds are becoming harder and harder to execute in the game as it moves on, because pushing in and just, well, taking damage is becoming so, so punishing in this game. 
Keep in mind that Wargaming will probably squeeze in submarines as well. They're doing it in ranked in the upcoming patch, but they're going to probably squeeze it into randoms as well. And I have no idea how you're supposed to push into a submarine in a secondary battleship. It just doesn't work. You just don't have any, any tools to deal with them. So, yeah, um, a step in the right direction, finally getting secondaries back, but still so extremely punishing to play for really no reason because honestly I have never heard anyone say that wow secondary builds are so overpowered like has there actually ever been anyone who said that most of the time secondary builds in world of warships well they're the mean build they're the fun build I, I love them but if, if I'm trying to really win games if I'm trying to have a good result um, obviously you're not going to be building secondary ship you're not going to be bringing secondary ships you bring those to have fun and for some reason, Wargaming just hates the concept of people having fun with these secondary builds. And I don't understand why, because base, most of the battleship players think it's the, one of the most enjoyable things to do. Like, it, it's a change of pace from all of these main battery uh, battleships to playing these secondary ships. But Wargaming it just seems very, very oppo opposed to this concept. Just like just read the skill description on this new secondary skill it, it, it feels like they've gone out of their way to make it as convoluted and as punishing as possible when they could have just reverted the old one well submarines i guess anyway sorry for the rant well actually no i'm not but uh, i kind of i just wanted to rant about this because i'm so annoyed because this is one of the best uh, one of the most fun aspects of the game and for some reason wargaming seems allergic to the whole concept Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for following or subscribing, either one. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later.